Hi everyone, I'm George Delagrammaticus and thanks again for your interest in our course website. At this point, you're probably wondering how you can take full advantage of this site. There's a lot here and as our program grows, so will the number of projects. You've probably gone to a lot of open source repository sites. That's one way that a lot of us learn, but one problem that I've found with those sites is that the level of detail needed to replicate projects isn't always there. I've also found that there's just so much information out there that I don't know how to filter things quickly. We wanted to make this learning process more streamlined so you have high quality content at your fingertips. So where do you start? First, let's go to the course landing page found here on this link. You'll find out why this course was developed under the vision button here and you'll learn how we're trying to innovate in the classroom, how all projects are linked to some type of research problem, and the themes that unify all the projects. I invite you to learn more about our curriculum, the course history, why we solve big problems, and other course description and objectives uh, down below. At this point, you can take one of two parallel paths. You can go to the experiments or you can go to technical communication and portfolios. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how these intersect very shortly. And no matter what path you take, you'll ultimately find yourself in the same place with great content. I'm going to start with the experiments. And here at the top, I explain how we've reimagined the graduate education, the MEMS department and how we've reinvented our concentrations into these four separate concentrations that represent the expertise of our world-renowned faculty. In each one of these tabs, you'll have some detail as to what these projects are about, but then you'll also find an associated link which takes you deeper into more detail. Let's pick automated intelligent machines and systems. And once we go here, you'll find that we have a little bit of a descriptor at the top and a sequence of tabs from beginner to expert in which we have different projects. These tabs represent the different learning levels and different experience levels needed to take on those projects. We start from high school level and go to graduate school and beyond. Now, Remember when I was talking about those parallel paths? Let's now go to TechCom and Portfolios. And on this website, what we find is a repository of all the student portfolios. Every student who's been through this class in spring 2020 when we started uh, teaching it this way. And here you can find the personal experience of the student, the journey that they took as they designed their own experience and performed these projects. Uh, later on, we also have the curriculum and workshops that we did in technical communication that you could also explore. Let's take one student as an example, and on each one of these sites, you'll have something very similar. You'll have the title of the project, the project motivation, a personal link to why this student wanted to learn uh, these objectives. And then you'll also have a mirror of what you saw in the experiments tab where we have different ex experience levels, uh, the different project experience levels, and then you'll find details on all the different projects that this student did and what was performed and how to replicate these projects. And so each one of these then gets linked back to the experiments page. You see, what you'll be able to do is get to that same um, same content from different uh, different paths depending on how you want to use this website. And for those who are recruiters who are looking at these, these portfolios, this is a great place to hire your next top talent. So at this point, uh, um, if you were looking for a project or an experiment that you didn't see, if you encounter a broken link, uh, or if you want us to, to improve something, just email us at this link above, the comments edit link. And if you want to partner and contribute your time, your talent, your treasure, please email us down below. This website is ultimately a place everyone can use as a free resource to learn, and we all learn better if we learn together. So please leave us a note and have fun learning. Thank you.